Niggas been jacking me all day long. I got jacked at Keep Sweat's uh, studio when I was 15 years old in Atlanta. I ain't gonna tell you how many of my records I heard on the radio, and I ain't gonna tell you who sung them. When Mary J. Blige and KC were together, it was a disaster. And I'm not saying nothing bad about KC. Everybody knows he was whooping her ass. They would get high on crack. They would drink all day and all night. They would fuck. They would fight. And then they would go into the studio and make fire ass records. Like Bobby Brown and Whitney Houston. Like a lot of couples in the industry. They get high together. They get drunk together. They fight together. And then they go and they create some awesome music. I don't know. Maybe um, maybe Casey punched in her head too many times. Or maybe she just got uh, gang too many times. While she was drunk and high and didn't know what the fuck was happening to her. I don't know what's wrong with Mary J. Blige. What I do know is that she is a victim, but she became a victimizer. There was no need for her to hate on me. There was no need for her to hate on Faith. There was no need for her to hate on a lot of the female artists that she hated on. Except for Beyonce. And I'm assuming because somebody was paying her to pump Beyonce up so Beyonce could blow up. Because the truth is, um, that first Beyonce solo record was a mess. That jam on your horn shit from um, Austin Powers movie, that shit was a mess. It was whack as fuck. Too many horns. It wasn't properly arranged. She was yelling and screaming, trying to sound like Tina Turner, but sounding like a frustrated uh, uh, man with a high-pitched voice. It was a mess, and y'all know it. That's why they brought Rich Harrison in to do Crazy Right Now. And then that's when Jay-Z entered it. And ever since she's been with Jay-Z, she's been doing great. 